Well, I I use this tool quite often, and what can I say? Um, it's a little dirty. You know, there, there's there's worse things out there to pretty much uh, work with and stuff like that. I mean, but I like how I use my tools. I like the capabilities of getting a little dirty. Get a free mud bath wherever I go. I mean, it took like um, seven minutes to get like this. But what did I do? I'll show you. I had problems with my sign wood not growing. So I'm digging holes. Sucked up the soil that I wanted. I got some of them to grow. A couple of them took here and there. You know, popping out here and there. My cutting techniques didn't exactly go too well. But I got a few. I duplicated an orchard. I know that. But there are thousands. Thousands of them. That pressure washer worked pretty good for digging this hole. I just throw my new plants in there. I pretty much space out how I want it. And done. Sometimes things take, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they just take a long time. But I'll show you what does work on the tree level. These are seeds. Cosmic Crisp, it's Granny Smith, here's Kiwi. I mean, it's the tomatoes are doing pretty good too. This papaya right down there. Got a little plot in the center. And those are Sugar Bee, Fuji. Here's a lemonade, apple trees. These were my first. Or real close to it. Here's my lemon trees. And I got some kumquats. Some giant grapefruits are in here. Nice citrus section. Here's honey crisp. There's honey crisp down there too. More cosmic crisp. Here's Barnard Pear. Barnard Pear is doing really good. So what I do is I plant them. Like, see where the cell structure is right now? Pretty much even, but just a little divot. So I drop my seeds in there and let it grow. Then I slowly keep adding more soil to it. And then I just keep adding more soil to it. I'm in the middle of summer. So I plant, when I plant the seeds in the ground, I plant a little hefty amount of soil, a, a shovel full on top, about, about an inch deep. I'll, I'll bury it. And then along the way, I just keep adding more and more and more. So I'm not pushing the seeds in the, the pot. They're all equally sitting right on top. And I put the soil on top. I'm not burying it, placing it, and then I put the soil on top. It seems to work better. I got a little barren area here. But they're looks like they're just coming in. It takes a while for them to pop up. These are more lemons. Or kumquats, it says. This is about the only weed I've seen for a while. I don't know. Most of my weeds are like tomatoes. And plants that I like. You know what this plant is? Common mallow. It's like a 
a thickener for food, like you bake with it. Very old plant. A broadleaf, I mean, arrow leaf plantain. You know, I'm pretty, pretty good about not destroying everything. These are apples. And, uh, I think this is a Ronia berry. Right here coming in. Real slow taking. My God. Berries. These tiny little berries, these, they, they, they're finicky. They're the most finicky. They like shady areas. And all that. Here's more cell structures getting ready. Here's tobacco. Baby tobacco plants. That's what I'm putting in over there. I can tell the difference in the plants. I've been careful because, I mean, I placed them in the tray and they take such a long time to get to this point. I don't know if you've seen tobacco seeds. It's very small, very small. It's like dust. And other things started popping up. So I've been kind of patient because I don't want to plant a whole bunch of stuff that just to plant it. These are, and this soil went through the wastewater treatment <clears throat> plant. So these are like the, the most hardiest plants on the planet for heat resistance that I have left. It's kind of neat playing with those. Those ones that you get at the wastewater treatment that, that takes the most intense heat. Cooking and processing. They're the best for you on the planet. They are. Here's my little swimming pools for my tomatoes. I'm going to about pull those out pretty soon. Here's another one. Here's my machine. Here's my potatoes. I got grapes growing here from seeds. They came from Pacific Lutheran University. There's a few of them. I might get 10 or so, maybe more. I have to have pollinator plants at all times. I want the bees to be around here when they come. They smell the food, but they want the pollen. And every once in a while a radish pops up. And I just let it go to seed. I'm going to get a lot of radishes from that. Here's amaranth. You know, this plant, I tried it out on a bee sting. It worked. It helped. For wounds and stuff like this, this plant makes a good poultice for healing. I try things out on me on my little wounds and see how it works and see if I live through it and you know, tell you how it works out. Like that plant right there. That's comfrey, I think. I don't know. It's something. There's a lot of different stuff running around here. got some wild lettuce there's just a small section of it I can't show you the whole thing just piece by piece I like to see the bee Um. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye.